Hello, storytime friends. So today, we're going to listen to a story all about how we might be feeling just a little bit crabby and just a little bit cramped up, spending so much time at home with all of the people that live with us. Sometimes we just need a little bit of space for ourselves, right? So today's picture book is called Leave Me Alone. You can already tell what it's about. I didn't even have to explain it. And it's by a Russian-American author called Vera Braskal. So some of the things that we're going to see are parts of her childhood growing up in Russia. Once there was an old woman. She lived in a small village in a small house with a very big family. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I can count all the kiddos in that house. Let's see. Let's try it together. We've got two outside with maybe mom with a grown-up walking with them. And we've got another one in the doorway. We've got a baby on the floor playing with the yarn balls. Oh man, I cannot count all of these. And does the old lady look happy? Oh, I don't know. I think she looks a little bit crabby surrounded by all those kiddos. Winter was coming. Can you tell? Because the leaves are falling off the trees and the leaves are nice and red like we see in the late fall time. That meant that she had some very important knitting to do. Right? She has to knit hats and scarves. What else could she knit to keep us warm in the winter? Ooh, maybe some gloves or mittens. That's a good idea. Uh, but it was not getting done. Hmm, we can see why. Her grandchildren were very curious about her knitting. Were you supposed to hit the ball with a stick? Could you eat it? Could you make your brother eat it? Why did the ball get smaller and smaller as you chased it? Yeah, because all the yarn is unwinding, right? The old woman was at the end of her rope. She is fed up with all of this. So she made her bed as neatly as she could. Oh, as neatly as she could with the grandchildren jumping on it, right? She swept the floorboards until they more or less shone. Mm, grandchildren are getting that kind of dirty, too. She drank tea from her samovar. Yeah, have you heard that word before? A samovar is a big container full of tea, hot tea that you can drink out of it. She packed up all her things in a big sack, and as she left, she shouted back, Leave me alone! Ooh, that was kind of loud. The old woman walked through the deep, dark forest. She made a fire so that she could see what she was doing. And then she sat down and began to knit. Uh-oh. Do you see some visitors coming? The bear family. Did you see them? The bears. The bear family was very curious about the light from her fire and about what she might taste like. Uh-oh. The old woman isn't afraid of the bears. She says, leave me alone. Can you shout that with her? Yeah, you want to start shouting it every time she says it. Leave me alone, the old woman shouted. But they didn't listen because bears do not speak English. That's true. They speak bear. So she picked up her sack and she left. The old woman climbed up the mountainside. It was cold, so she found a small sheltered place, a little cave. Then she sat down and she began to knit. Uh-oh, do you see another visitor? <gasps> were you right? It's goats. The mountain goats were very excited to have a visitor, especially one that brought snacks. Ooh, the goats think the yarn is pretty yummy. But the old woman is not afraid of the goats either. She was not afraid of the bears, and she is not afraid of the goats. Are you ready to yell? Are you ready to yell? Leave me alone, the old woman shouted. But the goats were too busy fighting over the red ones, which they all agreed were the best. The red yarn is the yummiest. So she picked up her sack, and she left. Where is she going to go now? She's already up high on the mountain. The old woman climbed higher and higher up the mountain. She reached the top, and then she climbed onto the moon. Wow, she is going out of her way to find a place to be by herself. 
She found a rock, a moon rock, that was shaped like a chair. So she sat down and she began to knit. Oh, I think I see another visitor. I think the old woman is suspicious that there's another visitor coming too. Look at her little eyes there. The little green moon men, the aliens, had never seen a woman before, old woman or otherwise. So they examined her with handheld scanners that went beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Well, the old woman does not seem to be very amused by those scanners. You ready to yell? Leave me alone, the old woman shouted. But the little green moon men could not hear her because they did not have any ears. That's right, I don't see any ears on their sides of their faces. So she picked up her sack and she left. She left the moon through a wormhole. Uh-oh, where's she going to end up on the other side of that wormhole? Oh, it's all dark. It's a void. It's a space void where there's just nothing in there. The void on the other side of the wormhole was very dark and very, very quiet. She was completely, absolutely, utterly alone. It was perfect. Soon she had no more yarn and 30 little sweaters. She knitted all her yarn into sweaters and she was alone. So she put her 30 sweaters into her big sack. She swept the void until it was a nice matte black. She had a cup of tea from her samovar. Wow, she brought that heavy samovar with too. Then she picked up the sack and she left through another wormhole. Where do you guys think she's going? Oh my gosh, did she go home? Do you think she missed everybody at home? When she came out the other side, Everything was right where she had left it. And she didn't say a word. What does her face look like? Is she smiling? Is she so happy to be back with her family? Oh, and look at everybody is wearing one of the sweaters that she made them. Sometimes we just need a little break by ourselves before we get back to being able to enjoy being around all the people we love, right? All right. Thank you for joining me for a story today, friends. If you want to read the book again, you can listen to the video as many times as you like. It'll be on our YouTube page, so you can listen to it whenever you want. Or you can check out the book as an ebook through our app Libby. Or you can put a hold on the print book to pick up in our curbside pickup service. All right, until next time, story time, friends. I love you. I miss you. Mwah.